Hey, what's up, car shipping rock stars? It's your girl Ashley from ReloGeek.com. And in this video, we're talking about rate payouts. What are brokers making on each load? Believe it or not, I get asked this question by more car haulers than I do auto transport brokers or freight brokers. The thing is, it's such a hot topic because everybody wants to know how much do brokers make? How much are they getting paid for these loads? How much are they getting paid to sit behind your desk and coordinate the transport of moves? But before we get into that, you need to understand the difference between a freight broker and an auto transport broker, and I'm gonna break it down for you. So if you have no clue, pay attention. An auto transport broker is a freight broker. Let me repeat that. An auto transport broker is a freight broker. In order to become an auto transport broker, you have to fulfill the same requirements that someone who's planning to haul it, reefer or dry goods has to go through. So what does that mean? That $75,000 bond, yes, you need it. Do you need an MC number? Yes, you need it. So to become an auto transport broker, you need to become a freight broker. All an auto transport broker is, is a freight broker that specializes in moving cars. So if you're already a licensed freight broker, I've got good news. You do not need any additional licenses if you want to switch over or add hauling cars to your list of services. What you do need, though, is to understand how the auto transport industry works, how to run an auto transport business, and more importantly, how to price your services. So now that you know the difference between an auto transport broker and a freight broker, let's talk about pricing and pricing structure. An auto transport broker is different from a freight broker in that they price per car, whereas freight brokers are pricing per load. If you're an auto transport broker or you want to know how much auto transport brokers make, on average, they're making between $150 and $300 per vehicle they move. Now, obviously, this number is greatly varied if they're moving a bulk amount of cars, multiple car discounts, or even moving cars for dealerships. They probably take a set fee. And this fee can be a lot higher. It can be in the $1,000 range or it could be a lot lower. It just depends on the broker. Now, as far as freight brokers are concerned, freight brokers take an average of 25 to 35% of the load. Now, before you guys kill me and say, well, I know a freight broker that charges a lot less, or I know a freight broker that charges a lot more, it varies. But on average, freight brokers take between 25 and 35% of the load. And there are some freight brokers that take upwards of 45% of loads. Yes, they're making almost half of these loads and the carriers are only taking in the other half and they're doing all the work, so to speak. A lot of people have an issue with that. I'm neutral. I've been on both sides of the playing field. I've been a broker and I have also been a carrier. So I take a neutral position. Whether or not brokers are worth getting paid that much, that's to the individual to determine. I'm leaving that up to you guys. So if you want to comment on that, you can leave it in the comments below. But let's recap. Freight brokers make per load basis anywhere from 25 to 35% and some upwards to 45% of the loads. Auto transport brokers get paid usually on a per car basis. They're getting anywhere from $150 on the very, very low end to $300 on the higher end. So I hope that explains and answers all your questions I've been getting asked about how much freight brokers and auto transport brokers make. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ashley from ReloGeek.com. Now get out there and make moves happen. I will see you guys in the next video.